Well, hey, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. This is Rob Ryan, and I am here with my partner. Let's how have you and I just you. happen to be <laughs> Ian Billinghurst, partner of Rob Ryan in Gussie's Gut. <laughs> yes, and we're so happy to be here today um, and uh, share something we think is really cool. Uh, when you think about uh, interventions, medical interventions, I mean, we're really, Ian and I are pretty nerded out on this right now. You think about inter in medical interventions, you think probably got to be invasive, probably got to involve some negative side effects. And when you think about skin interventions, you think, well, got to be chemical. And what we have for you today is uh, absolutely the opposite of all of those three issues. Um, it's technology out of Japan. We're going to talk all about it. Very, very cool, very clean, very simple. And uh, Dr. Billinghurst and I think it goes really well with what we do at Gussie's Gut by building up the system, even in the face of adversity. Uh, and in this case, you know, skin issues and skin diseases. So did I do a pretty good job of that? So, <laughs> did I do a pretty good job of that? Well, uh, Rob, you, that was that was magnificent. Um, when I first became a veterinarian, all I wanted to do was all that cutting and thrusting and interventional stuff, um, because I had a previous life as an agricultural scientist where it was all preventative medicine, a lot of it through nutrition, but through other means as well. And then over time, I gradually turned the whole thing around and went back to nutrition. And what we're going to talk about this morning goes hand in hand with nutrition. It goes hand in hand with fermented food. It is just a brilliant match for what, as Rob said, what we do, what we are, we are so passionate about, which is making the body healthy through the gut, through nutrition. And this it's um, interventional, but it's a non-interventional. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking further with uh, Jeff about this. So, Rob, could you introduce Jeff? That's right. Well, without further ado, we'll, uh, let's bring on the co-founder, co-owner of TheraClean, Jeff Wright. Hey, gentlemen. Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. Excited. Good morning. Well, I'm not sure. It's morning here. I'm not sure what it is where you are. <laughs> what time is it there, Ian? Uh, it's exactly 8.35 in the morning. Great. Gotcha. Which is a great time because I've had coffee and uh, rearing to go. Perfect. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time and uh, allowing me to come on your format here and uh, talk about TheraClean. Well, let's start Let's start this, this conversation off uh, by first uh, talking about a couple of the applications of, you know, why somebody would even look at a technology like this. So uh, some of the top of mind, uh, top of my mind uh, mm -hmm. issues might be ears, mites, demodetic mange, allergies, skin allergies, exactly. parasites, infections, and other irritations. So am I missing any, Jeff? Let's start there. No, I mean, that's the crux of it. And as you you know, venture on our website and look at our different social media platforms, you're going to see a lot of before and after pictures of skin related type of issues. So you go, you're going to see the problems with just, you know, demodectic mange, you know, the real severe stuff, the wounds, uh, sores, but you're also going to see ear infections. You're going to see the basic dermatitis issues, uh, just even the red inflamed paws, just the, you know, from the simplest all the way up to the most extreme cases you're going to see. So the uh, nice thing with the, with the technology is, and we'll get into the science of it a little bit here, but just, you know, kind of a thumbnail sketch is it is completely all natural. It's water turned into microscopic bubbles with a negative charge. And what you're going to do is you're going to notice how it attracts the positively charged organic material on the coat and on the skin, and then actually how effort cleanses and debrides the skin, how the micro bubbles actually then transfer down the hair follicle into the dermis and implode down there and release the different types of items you're going to have down there from the bacteria, the fungus, pollen, dirts, 
old shampoos, conditioners, old medication, things like that. So on the surface, uh, really all we are, I mean, like I said, we can get into the science a little bit more and we'll, we'll do that. But really on the surface, what we are doing is we are just deep cleaning. We're cleaning deeper than any other technology can get to. But we're just using the regular tap water from right out of your faucet. And we're siphoning that into our system. The system turns it into microscopic bubbles, one third the size of a blood cell with a real strong negative charge. And we'll kind of go into that uh, process. But all we, our simple claim is we clean deeper than anything else can. So it's kind of like us giving an, an artist a fresh, new, clean palette to work with, if you will. And again, just like Ian had mentioned how this is really commensurate with his protocols and everything because he's with you know his approach you're working from the inside out and we're working from the outside down and it's a great one-two punch and they really help uh, facilitate you know what we do is we help facilitate those protocols that are already out there we're going to help turbocharge them and some things as you know uh, a lot of these medications that are going on to the surface of these animals um, one, they're kind of sometimes they add to that sebaceous crust, that buildup that starts to, you know, proliferate on top of the skin and it's not getting down to where it belongs. And or because the animals have been inundated with these drugs for so many years that the different, you know, strains and so forth have become drug resistant. So the medications that are going on the skin, number one, aren't going to do any good. And or sometimes they add to the, you know, they exacerbate the problem by building on to that sebaceous crust and all we're going to do is it's like pulling gently very softly pulling off that scab if you will and then going down the hair follicles and debriding everything down at the subdermal layer so hopefully that is a fairly <laughs> i know it was Great. a little bit of the answer but uh you know thumbnail sketch if you will well jeff i i saw the um one of the videos um that was done about this and it was so beautifully illustrative of lack of pressure. There was no pressure there. Exactly. All that happened was that um, there was a big tub of water and into that tub uh, went a nozzle, blew the water filled with the micro bubbles, and you saw like it would look almost like um, steam or something within the water or, or just just a, just a cloud, a cloud within the water. And those, what really blew me away looking at that was I realized if you put this on a dog's skin and I didn't realize I learned something which I never you know we have what I learned was this negative uh, charge on these micro bubbles and the fact that most organic material is positively charged so exactly. these bubbles pick all this they pick up the rubbish and then once they've got rid of the rubbish, they just do it quietly and effectively. They then penetrate into the pores because they've opened up the pores. And I just saw this whole system. Wow, this is incredible. Because what we're doing is we're actually, um, <clears throat> excuse me, when we have a, a, an animal that is um, on the wrong food and, and has developed all these problems, and then we start treating it with antibiotics and shampoos and so on, we're never getting to the root of the problem. So by getting the right diet, then we're getting to the root of the problem. However, we still have that situation where we have all that rubbish on the surface. And so by these micro bubbles combine well with the right diet by removing all that rubbish, then penetrating down and literally attaching to the bacteria and pulling them out. I mean, that's incredible. That's yeah. like, um, this is what antibiotics do, but differently antibiotics kill the bacteria and get rid of them this way but your micro bubbles literally pull them out and so they're gone um exactly. and one would hope and, I, and i'm assuming that uh, in fact I, I know this would happen with the right sort of diet these dogs are then going to get a population of healthy bacteria back in their skin and over time of course there'll be less need to to use these uh, washers but I, I just see it as a wonderful therapy uh, combined with uh, the right sort of food. And even if somebody doesn't want to use the right sort of food, um, <laughs> this therapy is going to work anyway, which is absolutely brilliant. 
and, and, and uh, good for the uh, owners and makers of the product, the, uh, the micro bubble machine, because they'll have to continually use it. But it's there and it's going to make the dogs, and this is the good part, so much happier, so much healthier, which is brilliant. Yes, and we're the manufacturer of the technology. We make it here in North America. And so, as Rob had mentioned earlier, the technology originally did come from Japan. We had a licensing uh, deal with them for the first uh, four years or so, and now we've branched out on our own. And uh, Jeff, doing Jeff, when was when was this invented? When did the Japanese discover well, this? Or honestly, the way the story goes, um, Ian, is that this technology was first invented in the late 1940s by the Russians, and they, <laughs> shot, it, and they shot it out in front of their subs. Their submarines would go through the water in this envelope of micro bubbles, and it was basically invisible to sonar back then. So they effectively had stealth submarines back in the late 1940s. After wow. a few years, sonar caught up to it, and they thought that was the only use for it. So off it went into the history books, and a gentleman at the University of um, Tokyo, I believe in the agriculture department, about 25 years ago or so, was doing a research project and he was looking at old scientific uh, things and he happened to come across this. Well, obviously there was no more patents, there was no, you know, but the schematics and everything were still there. So we built it, uh, built a prototype and started realizing like, why do my hands feel and look younger? How come my carpal tunnel and arthritis doesn't hurt? Like, and my dog has skin problems. Let me see if I can give him a bit. Gave his dog, all of a sudden cleared up his skin problems, the hair regrew. And now, next thing you know, they use this in shipping. They use this in cancer research. They use it in uh, agricultural purposes. I noticed at the beginning you said you were in agricultural sciences. Um, they use this to make plants grow bigger, faster, stronger. They water, When you water them with micro bubbles. So especially if you're looking at, and this is a little off the subject of the animals, but if you're looking at hydroponic plants, you know, those roots are hanging down in the tubes as the water is going by and the roots are trying to grab any type of oxygen molecules in there to grow. Well, the, as you saw with the bath, the water turns pure white. That's because it's billions and billions of microscopic bubbles refracting the light. So now those bubbles cling on to the root and they dissolve the oxygen right into the root. So now I'm taking, instead of taking six weeks to harvest your lettuce, it's done in three, three and a half weeks. Well, now you mentioned um, things like arthritis and other problems. How do micro bubbles work in these areas? Well, the only the best that we can come up with uh, is really the circulation. So when we got this technology from um, the Japanese, they showed us great before and after case studies. Our veterinarian went over there for two weeks uh, before this whole started and investigated it, visited veterinarians, visited um, groomers. Uh, visited the factory, talked with the owners of the tech and everything else. And, you know, he saw with his own eyes uh, in real terms and with pictures what was being done. So we come back here, we start making the systems. We're three months into manufacturing, selling the systems, and our groomers and veterinarian clients are calling us and saying, hey, our pet parents are calling us and telling us their dog that hasn't ran up the stairs in two years is running up the stairs again. It's playing fetch again. It's jumping on the couch. It's playing with the other dogs. And my groomers are fighting over who gets to give the bass in the morning because their carpal tunnel and arthritis feel so much better. Wow. And so we're like, okay, we didn't even know that was a side effect, but that's that's a bonus. We weren't told about that. Um, and that's a great none, none, none effect, us, yeah. yeah, none of us in our experiments and none of our dogs were elderly or having those issues. And so as we did the testing and everything else on ourselves and the animals before we got started, we that wasn't there to pick up. What is interesting though is, and I just, we have a private Facebook group that the owners of the system get to join. And we had one who, she's only had her system about five or six weeks. And she jumped on our private page, uh, I believe it was yesterday. And she says, I can't believe all the dogs that I always have that are hyper, that aren't a fan of bath time and everything else like that. She was, they are falling asleep in the water and they're so easy to groom now afterwards. Wow. Um, and that because what it, does for the, what it does for the coat also, the groomers love it now because their clippers and shears go through the coat like warm butter. So there's less wear and tear on their clippers, their shears. Um, the dogs don't smell like a dog now in between grooms because you've taken all that bacteria out. Um, and the older dogs move better. And uh, also, Ian, what you'd uh, mentioned earlier about the steam coming out of the water, that was a great observation by you. 
in that you can have ice cold water in there and it's still going to look like steam coming out. So uh, that's the negative ionic charge that's coming out of the water. And so kind of to get back into a little science of it and thumbnail sketch here is we're just taking anything that holds water. It could be a small bucket. It could be a horse trough. And we have three hoses hooked up to our system. So our system will sit outside of the bathing area on the ground and one hose of the recirculator goes in in suction cups to the bottom of the whatever the receptacle is that's holding the water. It's going to suck the water into the system. The system does its magic and out of the other two ports come two hoses with a shower head on each end and that releases the micro bubbles into the water. So all of a sudden that tub of water that's clear, just like when you fill up a bath anytime, all of a sudden within three minutes, it looks like flat milk all the way across here because it's got billions and billions of the microscopic bubbles in there. And it's going to look like it's steaming, but it's the negative ionic charge. So you see the science at work right off the bat before you or the animal even gets in the water. And as you mentioned, anything organic has a positive charge. So fats, oils, bacteria, fungus, allergens, you know, the pollen, the old shampoos, conditioners, old medication uh, is all positively charged. We're super negatively charged. And if you remember from science class, you take a negative and a negative magnet, they repel and positive and positive repel. But boy, positive and negative stick to one another. So That's when right. these animals, yeah, go ahead. Well, Jeff, I, I'm listening to all of this. What happens when one of the dogs drinks this water? Nothing. It, it's just, it just oxygenated water. So, you know, they drink water every day and they, breathe oxygen and that's so, the beauty of this is that part of the, the therapy that you would you would recommend that dogs drink this water well i don't know if i'd recommend it or not recommend it there's no harm in it if you notice if you see our uh, main video uh it might be the micro bubbles 101 that's on youtube uh my partner kyle darling uh, who's the president of the company his boxer is in the tub at the beginning and he's just lapping up the water and going to town and again, that goes back to the beauty of this. It's all completely natural. It's just water and oxygen with negative ions. And well, I mean, just very quickly want to sure. jump in there. Get this, this, this is, to me, this is really an exciting bit of technology. Um, you mentioned arthritis. Have you done or has anybody mentioned cancer in relation to these micro bubbles and this therapy? Well, that's a great question. And that's out of our scope of practice. We're not going to you know, get into that ourselves, but there are different parts of, of, in the world. Uh, you know, Amsterdam was the first one to do it. Uh, what they can do is, so we're, we're infusing these micro bubbles with oxygen. What they do is they're infusing them with um, chemo. So wow. let's say a woman has a tumor in her breast and what they can do is they can go ahead and put her under a scan, inject her shoulder with the micro bubbles with the chemo in it and watch it travel through the bloodstream. When it gets to the tumor, they put ultrasound on the skin, pops the walls of the micro bubbles. Now the chemo goes directly into her tumor. Now she doesn't lose her hair. She doesn't get sick and nauseous and weak. Her whole body doesn't need to be poisoned when the tumor is up here. Um, University of Toronto did one for... Um, the geoplast, uh, I'm not saying that right, whatever, you know, the brain tumors um, are. So, so just, I could interrupt you there for a moment, Jeff. Sure. So they're putting these micro bubbles with the chemo infused mm -hmm. intravenously? Correct. They do, this so, for, they do this for stress tests too. So, you know, if you have cardiac issues and they want to put you on a, a stationary bike or usually they put you on a treadmill of some sort, but let's say you've got a bad knee or hip or you just, you're going to, you know, you, you just aren't a good candidate for being on a treadmill. They can do a stress test with you lying down. And what they do is they inject you with microscopic bubbles with a certain gaseous uh, compound in it. So when it's going around and they can ultrasound your skin and it just makes the, the flow just glow that much more. Uh, so mm -hmm. they're able to do that. So it's already done in a medical aspect uh, internally. We are only we're only dealing with external dermal cleaning. Yeah, I, I'm interested because uh, it's carrying oxygen. Yes. Um, there, were, there were two things you said there, that, and I'm sorry to be <laughs> monopolized this conversation, but oh, this, not is at quite, all. this is quite fascinating. Um, it's almost as if you're saying that when you inject those micro bubbles intravenously, they actually target the cancer. Is that is that what you were saying? Because that's well, what I'm I hearing. I can't say I don't. 
I don't claim that, you know, they know where the cancer is and they just go to it. They're just injecting it into an artery that they know is going to innervate. And, oh, you know, okay. So, it's, so it's, it's, they, they are actually going directly to the tumor by putting it into a blood vessel that feeds into that tumor. Exactly. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Because the bit that I'm into, that's, and I'm really, I really, in many ways, hate the, the chemotherapy. I mean, I know it does good in many cases, but in many cases it doesn't. Sure. Uh, and targeting it directly is really good. But what really interests me, interests me is the fact that these micro bubbles carry oxygen because cancer hates oxygen. And the more we can oxygenate the patient, the, the more we can beat this cancer. So it sounds to me that it would be a very good adjunctive therapy. And I don't know whether having swallowed the, um, the, the, the micro bubbles, they will then enter the bloodstream. That would be another question. Or whether you'd have to inject them, them into yeah, they the... Would, they, they dissolve fairly quickly. So um, we, the, the, the beauty of our system is that we have, so we have a pressure gauge. If you see what the front of our system looks like, we actually have a pressure gauge and we have a dial that zeroes in the pressure exactly where we want it. That way we have micro bubbles that are popping at one second and two second, all the way up to two minutes. So when these bubbles are pr produced, they're produced at one third the size of a blood cell. So that's smaller than the width of a hair. They never expand because they're completely encircled with all negative ions. Everything around them is negative. So they shrink, shrink, shrink until they implode on themselves. And then once they implode, they release a sonic wave of energy, kind of like when you drop a rock into a puddle, all those concentric waves go out. Wow. This is, so it becomes a vibratory type of effect, if you will, and a ripple effect, kind of like having Pop Rocks candy in your mouth. I'm kind of dating myself a little bit here, but <laughs> kind of it gives you an idea of that tingling sensation. So what happens, the longer you're in the water, the first five to seven minutes, you're just kind of getting everything off the surface and it's lifting everything. After that, it starts going down in the dermis and starts pulling and popping. You know, it starts pop, they start bursting down there and it dislodges and pushes everything up. Well, every time a bubble pops, it's a chemical exchange. So it releases a little bit of heat. It's releasing that vibration. And now it's delivering oxygen down into the dermis. It's the largest organ of our body. So if you're getting an oxygen rich bath down in the dermis, holy cow, you're going to have a pretty darn healthy. <laughs> bed of tissue, you know, there. Um, so that's the neat thing is the, the warm tingling sensation. So now your body thinks it's getting a massage because it feels this warm tingling sensation. If anybody's had a professional massage before, you know, it's all about circulation. So here comes in the fresh oxygenated blood now, pushes the lymph and the waist along and out. And now you've created that healthy dermal bed. That's why a lot of our clients too, they even sell this service uh, we're mostly with uh, groomers. We do have vets, um, some vets that we've sold to, but a lot of these groomers, they sell it as a de-shedding service. Because if you get about three of these baths in about five weeks, boy, you've completely changed that whole dermal bed around. It's jettisoned the unhealthy, dry, crackly hair, and you see all this brand new hair sprouting out. And now because you have such an integral dermal bed, it's going to hold on to that, the, the new hair that it's produced the new coat and there goes dander issues. Now people can live with cats again because you've, you've pulled all that dander off and you've created a healthy dermal bed. That's not going to be dry and flaky. It's going to be well nourished because of the blood flow. And again, as we mentioned how this is a good synergistic approach from the inside out and um, anything that you want to put on after that TheraClean bath. Now you're going to get it down to where it belongs. You're not sitting on top of that sebaceous crust anymore. You're not trying to fight. And I have a picture. I hope it shows up um, maybe there on the screen real well. But uh, this is a microscopic view of skin. And this is a before and after 10 minutes. So hopefully that, I don't know if that. Uh, we see it. Okay. Let me try to shoot. Do it a little, little farther away. There you go. That's great. Yeah. So as you can see here, bef uh, I'm over here. Before it's it's very clogged up, and you can see even the oils and stuff sticking to the the hair. And then ten minutes later, you notice how open the skin is. Yeah. And, and everything's they're, cleared out. They're laying laying down differently. Right. Well, and just look how, look how open the yep 
skin is there alone. So the beauty of that is, is if the groomer has this high-end conditioner that they've been paying the most money for because it has the best ingredients, it's the most, uh, you know, well-formulated conditioner that they can find that's safest for the animal, now they can use a fraction of it because we've clarified the coat. Hardly any, it, they're going to need a, a small amount because it's not going to hold on to all those surfactants that are caught on the coat. But now it's going to get down to where it belongs and it's going to be that much more effective. If they're on a medicated shampoo or they're on a topical cream from the vet, if they want to apply that after, it's going to get in there even deeper. Sometimes with the dogs that are really red and inflamed and have a lot of wounds and sores, we really suggest if they're on a medicated shampoo, put that on first. Let it kill a bacteria. Let it kill the fungus. Let it do its job for that 10 minutes that it's sitting on there. Now, when you give them a TheraClean bath, you're pulling all that gunk off, getting all of that out of there. You're removing everything that the medicated shampoo just did. And it's not harmful. It's not irritable to the pet. Because if that pet does have a lot of open wounds and sores and everything else like that, if you would do the TheraClean bath first and now put a medicated shampoo on, it might kind of burn, might be kind of stinky because you're really have exposed it. But for the dogs that have just the dermatitis issues or some other things, it's great just to do the TheraClean bath first. And then if you're going to do any other protocols per the veterinarian, they're just you can use a fraction of it and just be that much more effective because it's actually not having to fight through all those items. Jeff, I want to go back to a couple things. So th mm -hmm. this, it occurs to me that this is in a classification with other therapies that I'm a big fan of, uh, which are ozone therapies. And mm -hmm. I know this is not like ozone, yep. but ozone and also hyperbaric oxygen treatment. And this mm -hmm. is just another tool in a toolbox of delivering what essentially is concentrated oxygen. And, um, and then you add, I'm going to just go back for our, our viewers, the, the, the trick is that this is providing negatively charged bubbles that are microscopic that go into the skin, but not deeper than the dermis. Correct. And they're pulling out the, po the positive charged, which it's actually the reverse in your head. The negative is the good. The exactly. positive is the bad. And, <clears throat> and in fact, why I think these dogs are falling asleep in their baths is that negatively charged ions in water is the same exact uh, effect you get from streams and fountains. And You're, you, of, you it's know. so funny. It's like uh, you were in on my conversation two hours ago with somebody. So for yeah. the people that are out there that are watching that don't know a lot about negative ions, when you go out after a thunderstorm, and the air feels fresh and clean and oxygenated and just purified is because when lightning cuts through the air, it releases trillions and trillions of negative ions that attracts to the pollens, the dirts, and just drops everything to the ground. When you're by a waterfall in nature, you, when you see the water coming down, yeah, you can see some of the water sprinkle in the prism, the light, you know, front, but you also see that kind of steamy, this because naturally falling water creates negative ions. That's why when you're in casinos out in Vegas, Every major casinos, they've got waterfalls, fountains, they've got some type of makeshift water thing in there because they know while you're losing, you know, at the blackjack table, they're going to try to keep you down. That's why there's no windows, no clocks and everything. There's a reason behind everything. And they wouldn't put all these water features in these casinos if it didn't serve a purpose. So yeah. and, sorry, and, I can interrupt your thought there. No, 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 that's that's great. And then I, I also just want to say, and I don't think we've done a good enough job of explaining this, is that. Um, and again, this is on the website, TheraClean, um, that a human uh, hair is 70 micrometers. A, a red blood cell is eight micrometers and bacteria are between three and 40 micrometers. So you begin to see quite easily how it can go in with its negative charge. It can go in, scoop up the bad bacteria that is positively charged at at a um, at the width um, that um, is you know clearly this this these bubbles are smaller than you can pick pick it up so there's these bubbles aren't you know get, going any deeper than the skin level exactly and then they're washed away how many baths are we like you know by the way folks uh, we decided not to show any pictures because they have some really compelling they have a gallery 
at theraclean.com. And it's they're really compelling, but they're they're just a little they're gross, some you know, <laughs> uh, because some dogs are suffering some with some really really bad uh, skin and ear diseases, and you've got this one that's just this massive wound that I'm that was the most impressive to me. Uh, and oh, I think the one with the flesh eating bacteria. Yeah, it was a flesh eating bacteria, and. So what are the what's the range? Is it like three baths to twenty baths? What do, what do you see? Uh, that's a that's an excellent question, and it really varies. Again, as you know, especially you, uh, Ian, dealing with it every day, you can do your magic what you can there. But when that dog goes home, you don't know what it's eating. You don't know what kind of bed it's lying in. What's out in the yard and the pollen and stuff like that. And so you could have two dogs with the exact same issue come in, and one's cured up after three baths, one's that cured up after seven baths. You, you just don't know. Um, things like ear infections and hot spots, one or two baths, it's gone. Uh, the shedding issues, three baths in about five weeks, it's gone. The simple dermatitis, the little red bumps on the skin. That's three to five baths again, depending on you know how much. Which, by the way, is not so simple uh, for most people. And no. and you know, dermatitis is a constant. I mean, you know, Ian knows this. It's uh, it's a cycle for a lot of people. And uh, yeah, and now you do want to do the occasional tune-up bath. You want to come back in. So yeah, um, you know, those pet parents. Once you clear that up, though, you know, and and to you know, kind of piggyback on this a little bit. This is, this is an upcharge. So for the veterinarians and the groomers, this is something you're going to charge, you know, a premium for because there's nothing else out there that does what this does. Mm -hmm. Our groomers on a very average basis do 2000 to 4,000 a month extra just in TheraClean baths. Um, okay. Now uh, we teach them our, our technology is a slam dunk. That's the easy part for us. We, it's our job to teach the veterinarian staff and or the grooming staff how to one sell market it and price it accordingly so that they can do that so we do an hour-long zoom call when someone buys a system we'll do an hour-long zoom call with them and their whole staff we teach them the a to z of about the tech how and why it works how to sell and market this appropriately and how to price it appropriately and then how to troubleshoot and maintain the system and that way everybody's on the same page. But you brought up a great part, Rob, when you were talking about the size of the micro bubbles. One thing that's extremely, I can't stress this enough, is a micro bubble is a micro bubble is a micro bubble. Isn't that true? So to get into the skin and to do what we do and those pictures that you saw, and again, we're not veterinarians, we're not groomers, we don't own a shop at all. Any picture that you see on any of our social media platforms come from our customers that do it and they send us the pictures. That's it. So, you know, it's not like we're doing it and you can contact any of those people because we always post their name um, and their, their business name along with it. But to get into the skin and to do what it needs to do, you have to between two and 25 microns. Now I could go out in my garage and I could probably tinker and come up with something that makes micro bubbles at, you know, 57 or 83 or 99. And I could still call it a micro bubble system but it's not going to do what it needs to do. It's not going to get into the skin. And so that's the problem is we spend a fortune going around and doing trade shows all through North America every year. And we educate people about it. And they're like, and they see all of these before and after case studies that we have on the table. And they think, Oh my gosh, micro bubbles. Amazing. I've heard about it. I'm going to jump in. And unfortunately, and it's, it's human nature. You're going to go and you're going to look for something cheaper, whatever. Well, the, the problem is they get it and they've already told their clientele, hey, I have this amazing technology coming. Look at all these pictures and they're showing them our pictures and everything else. And now they start doing it and they don't get the results. Now, all of a sudden they realize now I got to go ahead and buy you. But now I got to get my customer base back and get them back on my team because I've just upset them. I promised them results that you were getting and I bought something in fear and didn't. So now they have to unfortunately go back to the drawing board but again the size of the micro bubble matters um, and the fact that again like i was mentioning before our dial that we make them pop between one and two seconds all the way up to two minutes so the dogs so and this is a little different because this is an actual bath you know we for years in the industry it's always been like okay well let's give your dog a bath 
you've all, it's only been a shower, really. You would spray the dog down and get them wet, like we do when we get in a shower. You put soap on them, and then you spray them off, you know, the shampoo and the conditioner. This is an actual soak. Yeah. So now you're going to get the water up. If they've got, if they're a small or medium-sized dog, you're going to want to get them submerged mm -hmm. as much as possible. A lot of people will say, oh, my God, my dog would never stand for that. I, dogs are going to get all freaked out. Not many do, but by the time they hit that five or seven second mark, boy, you see them start to slouch down. Their eyes roll back in the head. They start getting down in the water because now it feels good on their hips. It feels good on their spine. And we put a video up, uh, it's almost a month now, of a dog that was in the TheraClean bath, and the groomer kept taking him out, and he kept jumping back into the water because he didn't want to get out. Well, we posted that. It was like almost 1.4 million hits now. And it didn't even show any before and after case study, you know, on skin, but it showed how much the dogs – you know, enjoy the micro bubbles. So you have to be very cognizant of making sure you get the right size micro bubble and something that is UL certified like we are. So every nut, bolt, washer, screw, hose, dial of ours is a UL certified piece of um, equipment. It's the old uh, ex uh, do not uh, accept any imitations, right? Yes. Um, so great. We got that. So, um, so Ian, do you want to uh, ask a question? I know you don't have, I know you're not out of questions. <laughs> No shortage. No shortage there. Um, I, I, does the, the, do the machines come in different sizes, or they, is it a one? No, we just have we just have the one, and it, it's a workhorse. We just yeah. turned, okay. we just turned ten years old on Saturday, and our very first client in Lincoln, Nebraska, who bought a system, she is still rocking and rolling it. We so, so does it have um, a lot of parts that have to be replaced, or how is that is no, and again, that's why I talked about be careful of imitations because if you look at our system, it is 100%. It's um, medical grade stainless steel, and we put all Cadillac parts in this thing. We don't want to be answering the phone every 10 minutes. Our groomers and veterinarians are on a schedule, and if you get a dog come in and now it's broken down and it's not working, and you get backed up and you got to call us on the phone, and now every now they got to cancel, <laughs> we would have been sunk before we got started if we put it out an inferior product. Good for you. Or do we have probably the most, ex if not the most expensive micro bubble system out there on the market? Yes. We've been in business 10 years. We haven't had one warranty claim in 10 years. Now, okay, Jeff, yeah. I'm, I'm listening to this and I'm thinking, my goodness, um, many homes would like to have one. But I'm assuming that the, the price point really is a commercial price point, not not a personal price, but no, and I'm, I don't want to invade into the actual price, um, but just just a, 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 would that be a fair statement to make? Well, yeah, and as I mentioned before, with our groomers doing two to four thousand dollars a month in this, they're paid off in a handful of months. We'll put it that way. Right. <laughs> That's great. That's get, great. You know that way. So it's the the people that have the business acumen and the business sense realize, okay, this is an investment, but you know. It's going to pay off. Also, we do in-house financing. So we have a lot of people who like, okay, well, I don't want to outlay that much money right now. We have them send us a deposit. We ship them a system, and they get six weeks to try it. If you don't like it, send it back. Guess what? Nobody sends it back Nobody because it does back. what it says it does. And that's why we don't have to make claim. You know, our pictures are, are our claims. But when we, sit, when we ship you a system, we don't lose any sleep that you're not going to get the same results that everybody else does. And you know, back to your whole warranty idea, if by some chance a part or something would go wrong on this, we can overnight you a part. We can FaceTime you on your phone. Okay, take the lid off. Okay, see that hose on, pop this, pop that in, boom, you're ready to yeah. go. And then the other thing is, now that we're so far into, you know, we're 10 years in, we have a lot of our clients that have had the system seven, eight years. They send it in to us for a refurbishment. We gut it, we clean it, we update it, we change out a air vent valve, which will capture in the dead skin cells and old hair and stuff like that, we clean that out. And we put a brand new pump seal in there because that's really the only thing that's going to go wrong in this thing. Just like any pump in the world, every seal eventually dries, cracks, shrinks, and starts dripping mm. water. We replace that. So now when we ship that back to you, even though it's year six, seven, or eight, we give you another one-year warranty on it because we know we've inspected it. We know it's in great working order, and we know it has a new active working pump seal. So okay. even though you're another behind question. Your, I'm sorry? No, another question, Jeff. Has, sure. Have any of these systems gone out? You've been talking about veterinary applications. Uh, for human washing, dermatological treatment applications, there are in other parts of the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you guys focus on the veterinary, the, on the animal side. 
Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're on the veterinarian uh, grooming side at this point. You know, I think okay. we should, I think we should say, I, sh I should have said from the beginning, we don't like, we're just huge fans of this technology. We're not getting paid a thing. Oh, no yeah. advertising here. Um, this is not at all. We're, we're here to learn. All. Yeah. This for us is about how we can provide something that is supportive and additive in, in, a, in a treatment. And you, you so rarely have the pleasure of seeing something like a hyperbaric, which is quite expensive, but like a uh, ozone therapy. Um, and, and this, you know, you don't even need a tub. You just need a bucket. You need a, you need a, 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 a receptacle that the dog can fit in. And you know, water. Water in it. I mean, the, you know, the machine itself is the investment, but um, it just occurs to me, and this is like, you know, for, for the veterinarians that are trying to, that have the facility space, but that are trying to bring people back into their practice more often. I mean, this is like a beautiful treatment option and to, and to be able to have an excuse to see a customer more. From a veterinarian side, it's such a great synergistic approach yes. in that they can, and Boy, believe me, they're going to be known as a skin expert in their area real quick. It doesn't, it takes three or four months of word of mouth to travel. And next thing you know, you're swamped when you can combine your protocols along with this technology. And even just like, you know, Ian's approach, you know, from the inside out, you know, as well. It's a, it's a great, uh, it, it's a great new revenue stream. Number one, you're going to get the animals better, faster, quicker, and you're not, you know, harming them with extra stuff that they might be you know, not dealing with may have some type of issues, uh, you know, with the, the particular medications. And so you're going to make you're going to make the animals better. You're going to make the pet parents a lot happier and you're going to have a new revenue stream. And again, like I mentioned, with our groomers making two to four thousand a month extra in this technology alone, as a veterinarian, obviously what you have carries a little more weight. You can actually charge more than what the average, you know, groomer carries. But, you know, we have uh, veterinarians on board who have a system and we have some veterinarians who are like, this is really cool. I love it, but I don't have bathing facilities in my area or I don't have a groomer on board. So they work out a great referral system back and forth with a groomer in town who does. And that's on our website. There's a locator tab. If you want to find somebody close to you that has a system, you can go to the locator tab, type in your zip code, and find from a five mile up to a 500 mile radius of a groomer or a veterinarian in your area that has it if you want to take your dog to that. Uh, real quick, it, it was came up uh, when we were talking about the length of baths and how many baths to do. Uh, the really neat thing, and I don't think you guys probably have an issue with skunks and uh, where you're at, Ian, <laughs> but skunk problems in certain parts of the country here, when they get sprayed, oh my gosh, is it a mess. And it's I've had that problem. Yes. And it's four or five trips to the groomer a lot. And even when the dog gets wet again, it still smells, you know, like stuff. You, no, no, no. you could do a 30 or 40 minute bath with this and the skunk spray probably 80, 90 percent of the time is done in one bath. Wow. Because first of all, where are they always sprayed at? They're sprayed right in the face because they're looking at that darn skunk when they get sprayed. Well, you mm. can't get hydrogen peroxide and other things around the mucous membranes and the face and the eyes and, you know, mouth. This is water and oxygen. You can go, and again, like Ian said, they could drink it. But now you can get this around there. And this is going to take those oils. So when the skunk sprays the dog, it's an oil that's actually going on the dog. Well, this takes the oil right off. And it also takes the dander. So you can't see this. When you're doing the bath, it is super gentle. But how powerful it is, is it's lifting and putting those, the skin in a small per, uh, particulate form and rising it and putting it up in the air. And so we even have to suggest that when you're doing a skunk, have a small fan blowing over the bathing area because you don't want the skunk oil coming back down on that wet dog. Move it along out a back door or out a window or something like that. Wow. That's how powerful it is. But yet it's effective enough to I, our largest investor in our company. Uh, had a three-month-old baby who had eczema so bad. She only she cried nonstop for uh, the first three months of her life. And if any of you have kids and you've ever given a three-month-old baby a bath, it's splash time, it's play time, it's party time. Well, this is his daughter three minutes into the bath. She's out cold. Wow. <laughs> and it's like, a, it's like a milk bath from the bubbles. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So Jeff, I've, got, I've got another question for you. 
Mm -hmm. Has it been used to treat periodontal disease? Well, it's funny is because, you know, and obviously because of claims and everything else, we walk a very fine line and we don't. Um, yeah, just asking for like, any, we, we, anybody to report it. this way, we have, we have had people come back to us and tell us that after the first or second bath, <clears> they can <throat> just take their finger and just knock the black chunks right up. Obviously, you don't want to do it with the dog, you know with his face raised and you know, swallowing in the water and any of the things that bacteria that might come off of his teeth. But if you can get his head down and you can go in there, one, it's going to help their breath, but two, it can also, it also seems to loosen that up. And wow. it's not necessarily anything that we promote just to, you know, protect well, ourselves. As a veterinarian who's been, who spent many years uh, slaving over foul mouths in dogs, we have an endotracheal tube down there. The the dog is under anesthetics. Uh, that stinking mouth, I think it would really benefit from a washout with micro bubbles. And the color of the gums afterwards, nice, vibrant pink because yeah. of the blood flow and everything exactly. else. Exactly. I mean, this to, to me, I can see a lot of applications in this uh, for veterinary practice. So they're, they're just... Uh, um, a beautiful system. I I'm blown away. And and Thank again, you. let me emphasize: because... Rob and I have no uh, no financial interest in this. We we are just fascinated by the technology and the possibilities of this these micro bubbles. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your interest and in, you know having us on. And um, I wanted to show this real quick because this kind of helps. Like a lot of this we've been talking about is, you know, kind of goes over people's head a lot. It went over my head when my business partner first told me about it. I'm like, you're full of baloney. There's no way water and oxygen cleans deeper and better than anything else out there. Until I went to Vancouver and I stuck my hand in his bathtub for five minutes. I pulled it out. I'm like, hold on a second. That doesn't look and feel like the, my other hand. And so that's when the hook was set. So this is a microscopic view of a micro bubble bursting. And so if you'll watch real quick, as the bubble shrinks and implodes, you'll see that sonic wave of energy going out. So it'll it'll rewind here in a second. It'll show you again. Now watch as it shrinks. Now watch the energy wave. Did you see wow. that? Wow. Yep. Okay, so now imagine that happening billions of con upon billions of billions of times on top of the skin to dislodge and push everything off. And then once that pore is open, now it goes down in there and it bursts down there. So it re it's releasing that nonstop tingling, pulsating, you know, effectiveness that's going to dislodge and push the limp, you know, the, the, I'm sorry, the uh, bacteria and the fungus and dirt out of there. And again, it's releasing its oxygen down there at the same time and a little bit of heat. So that warm tingling sensation happened billions of times. So when you, we suggest to people, to groomers and veterinarians who buy it, say, okay, when we ship this out to you, Give us your home address instead of your shop address because we want you and your husband or wife, you know, to take a bath in it, your kids. When we first got started, my son played lacrosse and ice hockey. And, oh, my gosh, he would get into the car with his equipment bag and stink up my whole car. Well, I was like, why don't I clean his equipment? So I would throw his equipment in the bathtub. I'd turn the machine on. Well, all of a sudden, his equipment looked brand new all the time. It didn't smell because it took all the bacteria out. And now if you got a cut. During a game, I didn't have to worry about them getting MRSA or anything else because all the bacteria is out of the equipment. Wow. So a little side note, but um, but That's just seeing that, seeing that sonic wave of energy as that bubble collapses on itself, it kind of, you know, sets a hook a little bit, makes lets you understand a little bit more about what's going on there from a microscopic perspective. Wow. Well, Jeff, I, I want to uh, thank you for the time that you've uh, taken with us today. This is super inspiring for both Ian and myself. And if anybody wants to go to learn a little bit more, watch a couple of videos, go to theraclean.com. There is a dash in there. Yeah. So thera-clean.com. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thera-clean. And um, I, we highly encourage you to watch the, uh, let's see, it's called how theraclean micro bubbles work. It's right there on your website. Go to the gallery um, and uh, all your social media is, from there, yeah, right? you can navigate to our Facebook, our Instagram, uh, YouTube. From there, uh, keep in mind: in about ten days, two weeks, we're going to have a brand new website up. Uh, so we're launching that. So it's going to be a lot more interactive. The gallery is going to be a million times better than what it is Great. Uh, now. But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, well, I'm going to I'm going to take Gus. He has no conditions, but I'm going to take him to uh, South Denver. I've I've looked up in your locator uh, where by me. Well, not. 
it's, it's actually about a 45 minute drive each way, but I, I think, I think I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really, a I'm a, I'm a nerd when it comes to this sort of thing. And, uh, you know, wait, wait, wait till you see and feel and smell. Uh, yeah, no, I can't wait. I can't. There's wait. a reason. Yeah, there's a reason why every show dog in Japan gets this done on a regular basis, whether they have a skin issue or not, because it creates such an integral dermal bed. And obviously, that's going to show what the coat looks like. That you can you walk two dogs out underneath the lights that are the same breed and everything else is identical, and one that gets you know a microbial bath on a regular basis, and one that doesn't, it's it's night and day. You know, I just thought of a, of a question I forgot to ask you. How does this affect parasites? Yeah, so again, as you, and I, I know you, you weren't showing any uh, pictures off of our website per se, but you yeah. know, maybe I'll just show um, you know, this case here of a main case. Okay. And, so this is the this is the finished product after seven weeks. That was twelve baths in seven weeks. Okay. And when he, when we started out here, sorry here, his eyes were crusted shut with the mange. So they were going to put him down the day that picture was taken. And as you know, mange is a parasite. And same thing with fleas. We're not going to say that we we clean it, but we remove it. We get it off. We get it out, and and create a fresh, um, you know, blood flow to the dermis to give it a fighting chance. So mm -hmm. it can fight off the parasites. It can fight off anything, any other vectors that come in. And the, the beauty also of the whole thing is, is it, sorry. Nobody really wants you. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the beauty of it is too, is the, um, the, the micro bubbles do it in a soft, gentle way. As you, as you mentioned earlier on, and it's a soft flow of water coming out. It's not a big, harsh blast of, Water, because when you have red inflamed skin and open wounds, the last thing you want is a fire hose coming down on you. This is <laughs> this is going to debride it and pull it out yeah, for this you. Is, this is this is and, uh, and this is why we were excited. Is this is a an, a, a beautifully healthy, supportive uh, intervention, and it gives it, it's breaking you know a chain in in the disease chain and right. allowing uh, an animal that you know may not you know. It gives the immune system a fighting chance to be able to when when you're pulling off, let's say, parasites or or um, or helping the skin heal externally. It allows internally the system to actually repair itself, which is sometimes all you need. Yeah, and if I can kind of feather this in there real quick, Rob, to that effect, going back to asking asking about the parasites and things like that. Yeah. So when there's a wound on the skin, the body produces a biofilm that yeah. comes out and it's to create a, a barrier, if you will, of vectors coming in and get causing infection and everything else on that exposed tissue, so forth. Unfortunately, even though it's meant there, meant to be there as a you know purposeful meaning, it stops the oxygen really from getting to the tissue. Oxygen is what heals wounds. And it also holds back some of the immune system and the white blood cells from doing what they need to do for the injury site. Well, what the microbubbles do is they go in and they actually, they remove that biofilm and then they super oxygenate the tissue. And that's why you see some of these cases that you'll see on our website that they've been under, you know, care for seven, eight, nine months or longer. And they're going backwards. They're getting, actually getting worse. The only thing that they added differently was the Theraclean microbubble bass and boom, six weeks, eight weeks. You didn't even know the skin, you didn't even know the dog had a skin issue. That's great. Yeah, really. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to be there when he gets his bath. Um, when Gus gets his bath, I'm going to, I'm going to lift up his cheeks and put it in his mouth. I'm going to put it in his ears. I'm going to put it everywhere. Yes. Yeah. And when you, um, when you do the, a lot of people are like, you can't put water in a dog's ear. That's going to cause an infection. No. It's kind of old wives tale. It's what's in the water that goes in the air. So they jump into that's a nasty right. pond with a bunch of amoeba and bacteria and everything else. Yeah. They can end up with a bad ear infection, but if they already have an ear infection, pardon my French, but what the hell do you have to lose? It's already infected. Get the micro bubbles in there. Pull everything out that's got to come out, but now you're going to dry it out afterwards, whether you use a swab or drying drops or however you normally dry the ear, ear up. But if it's already infected, get the micro bubbles in there and let them do their work. And, and one other thing there, Jeff. Sure. One of the most important things is getting that rubbish out so that if you're going to put medication in, it can do its work. Mostly, the medication sits on a whole heap of old medication and debris from the infection and does nothing. Because... So, this this is again a beautiful treatment. 
you... one final question. I got one sure. question. Do you ex export these products? Your, yeah, your we do. Product? We are actually in uh, Great Britain. Uh, we're actually in the process. We're finishing up some paperwork with a uh, lady from New Zealand. We're sending her a system. And what or, about Australia? Uh, actually, we we've, we've had some interest from Australia, and we're talking with a few different people uh, there. So, <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to our local groomer here and get them to get one, so we can take our dog there. Yeah, it's uh, like I said. It uh, the neat thing is, is we've had a lot of people that are now they're starting a. A, they worked at a facility that had one and they loved it and they saw what it did. Now they've branched out and they're opening their own practice, their own business. And they're like, you know what? I want to make this my superstar. I want this my nucleus. I'm going to build my practice out from this. And we have multiple, we just had another one today, another client today that bought their second system. And so we have, I'd say almost maybe 10, 15% of our clients have bought two systems. Now you're not buying a second system if the first one, didn't work and didn't make you a lot of money. Great. So um, it's, it's a nice feather in the cap when we have a client buy a second system. That's great. All right. Well, good. Theraclean, thera-clean.com. Uh, make sure you guys check it out and tell your vets, tell your vets, tell your groomers. Thanks so thank much, you. Jeff. No, thank you guys. Appreciate your time and everything you guys thank you do. Too. Thank you. Appreciate great, guys. It. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for being with us. Okay. You have a good night, Rob. Dr. Thanks. Egan, you have a good day. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you.